from that. Now, what do you see as the relationship of creativity to intelligence? Do you see them as two peas in a pod, or is completely distinctive, or somehow related? Well, we, we our first paper um, uh, in the Journal of Neuroscience showed this uh, threshold uh, phenomenon that has been talked about in the psychometric, psychometric literature. By threshold, I'm talking about you see um, if you give a standard test of intelligence and usually standard tests of creativity, such as measured by divergent thinking, they will correlate with one another up to this threshold of about uh, 120 IQ, which is um, one and a half standard deviations uh, above the mean. Um, after which they tend to disentangle uh, the correlation uh, approaches zero. Uh, creativity and intelligence uh, are related to each other. We saw that in our sample uh, of college undergraduates. And more importantly, we saw in their brains two different mechanisms uh, that were used in the, you know, what we'll call average IQ individuals and uh, superior uh, IQ individuals in the way uh, that creativity was correlated to their uh, brain, uh, th their brain was correlated to creative performance. Uh, so uh, we're using uh, measures of uh, biochemistry and acetyl aspartate as a, a chemical found only uh, predominantly in neurons. And uh, we're looking at the anterior cingulate gyrus, which is a, um, um, a region in the frontal lobe that um, basically um, uh, for the listeners, <laughs> is a uh, error detector uh, in the frontal lobe. It's kind of an orchestrator. It uh, filters through uh, information streams in the frontal cortex and prioritizes things and makes sure that things are running smoothly, errors aren't happening, it's making checks. And what we found is that uh, in the 120 and above group, um, we found a positive association between um, NAA, this neuronal marker, and creativity, whereas in the average uh, IQ folks, the relationship was inverse, uh, tipped on its head. So even in the brain, uh, we saw this threshold uh, theory being borne out uh, in neural mechanisms. It was That's, fascinating. That is a fascinating finding. Uh, somewhat recently, Ben Lubinsky has argued that there is no threshold, but we have uh, had results that are more like yours. Yeah, I, 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 I I do believe that there is a threshold, in it. and then, see, again, seeing it uh, played out in brain mechanisms as, a spo as opposed to strictly behavioral measures uh, gives it uh, greater credence, I think. Yeah, and it would make sense theoretically for us because part of the creative process is not only coming up, generating ideas, it's being able to assess whether they're good ideas, and which is an analytical piece of creativity, so that if someone was very original in coming up with novel ideas, but couldn't do that second analytical or evaluative factor, so exactly. like, this is one worth pursuing, yeah. and that one is junk, then it would be hard for them truly to be creative, and many of us have known people like that who are good yeah. idea generators, but not, but not good idea pursuers. <laughs> Yeah, we've also found that there is at least a moderate degree of domain specificity and creativity that when you test people in different domains, like writing stories, uh, drawing pictures artistically, or doing advertisements, or doing scientific uh, creative problems, uh, there's some correlation across the domains, but it's usually not that high. So that an important part of creativity is finding a domain that uh, is suitable for you, in which you really can excel. Yeah, and I think that domain specificity is important. You were talking earlier about there may be different parts of the brain that are you know, lit up or bigger or smaller related to that domain specificity, but the anterior cingulate gyrus is interesting. That's a central way station uh, used to you know, orchestrate the activity in the frontal lobe, and, and the fact that this, this threshold hypothesis conforms to the way people are allocating resources at, at that level is, is interesting and certainly, you know, it's a preliminary study, it needs to be replicated and all that, but uh, um, the, the fact that we, we find that uh, level of uh, conformity is, is uh, interesting.